All right, so today we're going to focus on isometrics. Isometrics is when your body is held in one position. Your muscles are contracting in that one position. There is no movements. And the reason why isometrics are, are, is important is it develops the strength in your joints, not just your muscles, but also your ligaments and your tendons, all of your connective tissues. So let's get started with an easy form of isometrics. We're going to take our arms out to the side. You're going to lift your chest up, pull your abs in, and just lift out to the side. Hold your hands out there. Now, as you're doing this, as simple as this may look, I want you to really tighten your body up. If you were to touch my arms right now, you might break your finger because I'm tightening up every single muscle from the arms to the stomach area. I'm also retracting my shoulder blades back. That means I'm pulling my shoulder blades together. So you don't want to just hold your arm out there. Add that resistance. Five more seconds, and then we're going to come to the front in three, two, and one. Come out to the front. Now, as you come to the front, you're now squeezing your chest muscles together. Your stomach is fully locked in. Your navel is touching your spine. Your arms are extended, and I'm, I'm trying to reach you. I'm really extending. Squeeze. Ali, are you squeezing? Yeah. <laughs> Judith, are you squeezing? So we got my homegirl, Ali, to my left side here, and we have Judith here on my right side. Judith just had a baby not so long ago. That baby's beautiful. Squeeze. Come back out to the side. Now, shift your weight all the way to the edge of the seat where it's comfortable, to where the seat don't tilt forward, and lift your left leg up. And I want you to hold that left leg up. If you want to advance the move, extend your leg out and flex the toes. Ooh, Ali's stepping it up. Ali, I want you to pull these toes in all the way. Pull them in and squeeze your quads. Judith is doing it too. So the idea is to go as high as you're able to go. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. Come up to the right side. Lift your chest. Extend it out if you want to extend it out like these two crazies. Or you can be a nice person <laughs> and just stay regular. If that gets too hard for you, you can take one hand and just hold the other leg up, okay? Until you get stronger. All right, five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Pull it in and down and relax. Beautiful. Take that leg out, shift to the front, sit back into your chair, relax into the chair. That's the workout, let's go to sleep. Now, we're gonna lift the legs up. Lift them up and hold it. Separate those legs out. Hold it. If you want to be more advanced, you can take the arm and hold it out like this. And I'm not touching the back of the chair for me, but you can sit back and just hold the back of the chair. And if you're really crazy, you could extend the legs up just like this and hold it just like that for five, four, three, two, and pull it back in and hold it here. It's not over. <sighs> breathe, Judith, breathe, baby. It's a girl. It's a boy. <laughs> Last one, extend out and hold it for five, four, three, two, and one, and bring it down and relax. It feels muscles working, right? <laughs> so we're doing, we're doing amazing, we're almost done. So now, let's take the leg back out. We're gonna hold the legs on the outside here. So I'm gonna challenge you a little bit more. I want you to press to the front of your chair. And you're gonna use every muscle you've got and you're gonna lift up and come back down. You're gonna hold it for two seconds, if you can. If you cannot do both legs, do one and then the other. You ready? Lift, one, two, and down. Ali's like a superhuman right now. Ali, come to the edge a little bit more. There you go, baby. Again, lift, up, and down. So when you lift, then I wanna see your entire thigh coming off that ground. Ready? Lift, and down. Good, one more, lift. Hold it, hold it, three, two, and down. Beautiful, and bring them together. Now, let's get out of the isometric stuff and add a little bit of cardio, and I'm gonna give you two moves. First move is your seated jacks, it's like a jumping jack. We're gonna do this 20 times. Ready? Three, two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, Nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. Sounded pretty good there. Sounded really good. Now we're gonna do what's called punch jack. So you're gonna put your hands up just like this, like as if you're in a fight, and you're gonna extend this leg out, and then this one comes out. Ready? So here we go, ready? Punch with the left first, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, alternate alley, four, five, you get it girl, six, there you go, seven, eight, nine, 10, go to your pace. If you wanna go faster, like I'm gonna go faster. I can hear Ali going faster. But if you cannot go this fast, slow it down. Three seconds, two seconds, and one, and relax. So if you saw how Judith kept it at a nice pace, Ali picked it up with me because everyone is different, your body is different. It's called bio-individuality. Never worry about what's happening on the right or the left of you. Focus on you. Good job. This is Donovan Green. I'll see you again.